these are Herreros in their traditional dresses. So um, the dress at the Herreros were some of the earliest Namibian, or it wasn't Namibia then, people of that area, to be exposed to foreign missionaries. Um, and there was actually the British missionaries, the Swedish missionaries, and the German missionaries. So the Lutheran church and the other churches of England went there. And of course, in those days, they wore Victorian style dresses. So when the, when the missionaries first arrived, they were all running around naked, which of course was shocking behavior, you can't have that. And Victorian era, you had to cover everything up. So it went from one extreme to the other. But they did keep some traditions. And as Jennifer said, Herreros are cattle herders. Cattle herders are the highest status of people in Namibia, the people who can herd cattle. Um, the lowest status, does anybody know what the lowest status of people in Namibia is by comparison to herding cattle, what the job is? The they are sort of lower down. Sheep and goats are under, co uh, under, under cows and cattle. Then you've got farmers. I don't think chickens count at all. That's <laughs> vegetable. People who live off the land hunter-gatherers uh, and the theory is they don't do any work they just live off the land so cow herders have to look after the cows people who plant things have to manage the crops people who do business have to do business um, having said that if you spend any time with the sand people and see how they live you wouldn't think that <laughs> but that's just how it is so the hat is a throwback and a um, a nod to their cattle herding because, as Jennifer says, they're meant to represent cattle horns. Now, both their dresses and their hats have to be made from one single piece of material. So material is made in yards. You know what a yard is? That's about a yard. <laughs> um, so when they make that hat, that hat has the same amount of material as the dress. And to make it keep shape, there's a bit of wood inside there that goes across the top to make it stay in a beautiful shape. Otherwise, it'll go limp. Yeah. And this is not just a traditional dress for most Herrera. If Herrera went to work in the city, they would probably wear this once or twice a week to their work. Like if they worked here, they would dress once or twice a week like that, just as standard. When they go home to their villages, they would also dress like that. That is their standard dress. Um, they are modernizing, obviously, the younger generation wearing different things, but they will st they're still very, very proud of their heritage. But we will come back to the Herreros later, um, because Waterberg is in prime Herrero area of Namibia. 